Okay, let's do some examples with uh, problems with proportions. So let's look at this example here. We are going to solve for x. So if you're looking at this and you've got no idea what to do, you can always just think about everything that you know about solving equations. So we know to solve for x, we've got to use some kind of inverse operations, right? So the inverse operation of, of division here is multiplication. So if you want to get rid of this 2, you got to multiply both sides by 2. These cancel out, so we're left with x is equal to 2 times 4 divided by 2. And when we multiply this, 2 times 4 is 8 over 2. And that's going to give us a 4, right? It's one way to approach it. Another way to do it, and this is just a quicker way of doing the same steps actually, is cross multiplication. So we're going to cross multiply. And what I mean by cross multiply is we're going to take this x and 2 and we're going to multiply it together. So you got 2x. Then we're going to take this 2 and multiply it by this 4 and we're going to get 8. Divide both sides by 2. x is equal to 4. Notice these are the same answers, right? And that's why, you know, like in class, I say it's very important to, you know, get the intuition down to understand exactly what it is we're doing. Because if you come across a problem like this and you don't know what to do, even if you forgot to cross multiply, you should be able to reason your way through it. Let's look at some more examples. So like number one here, let's, uh, let's just do the cross multiplication. So I want to take this 9 and 10, and I want to multiply them together. I have 9 times 10, which is 90. We're going to take this 4 and this 6, and we're going to multiply them together, which I'm going to get 24x. Now, using our inverse operations, we're, to get, we're able to get 90 over 24. That's equal to x. If you're in my class, I'll take that answer. But 90 over 24, that reduces down to 15 over 4, and this is the form that most teachers like. Let's do another example. Let's look at 5 here. you got 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2 over x. If you want, you can reduce this, which would be 2 over 1, which is equal to 2 over x. And now you can cross multiply. So you got 2x is equal to 2. So I took this x and this 2 over here, multiplied them this 1 and this 2, dividing both sides by 2, x is equal to 1. And just to show you that it works, even if you don't reduce your fraction, you got 4 halves over 2x, cross multiply, so you got 4 times x, which is 4x, right? And we're going to take 2 times 2, which is 4, divide both sides by this 4, 4 divided by 4 is 1, once again, we got x is equal to 1, and that's how you do proportions. If you're in my class, have questions, just feel free to ask.